I'm sick and tired of the same stuff every year. Every year, we say that we're going to sign talent, we're going to get a new quarterback, and it's all going to work out, and we're going to have a good season, and we're going to make a playoff run. Every single year, since like 2018, we've said, oh, we got a few good free agents, we have a new quarterback, we're going to make a playoff run, and then it never happens. Never happens. Ever since Luck left, the best season we had was 2020, where we lost in the wild card round to the Buffalo Bills. After Andrew Luck retired, 2019 we missed the playoffs. 2020 was the one good year where we made the playoffs. 2021 missed the playoffs. This year we're going to miss the playoffs. Every single freaking year, it's the same thing over and over and over. It's the same thing. It's, it's just disappointing every single year. Every year you think, hey, maybe this year's the year where we finally make it to the playoffs and then out of the first round. No. It's it's all the same. It's it's always the same. It's just every single year. Disappointment after disappointment after disappointment. And then you got fans who don't know anything pointing the fingers at the wrong people, just pointing fingers to point fingers, not actually knowing what's going wrong. Because they're just stupid and they're not educated on the sport of football and how front offices work. So they think they know what's best for the team as fans, but really they're just as bad as the people who mismanage the Colts. They point fingers at guys like Quentin Nelson when he's the best offensive lineman on that line, the only guy who week in, week out has held his spot. They'll they'll bring up some some stupid clip that like of him giving up a, a, a tackle like one time or something. Like if you don't think that you know, a good offensive lineman is still going to make mistakes, then you're just not educated on the sport of football. You don't understand how football works. If you expect someone to be perfect at any position their whole career, you are not educated on football and you need to go re-educate yourself because you don't know anything. Tired of the same stupid stuff from the fans, from the team, from the front office? I'm tired of it. We need to switch it up. We need to do it how we did back when we were actually successful. Let's lock up a young, good quarterback, and let's lock up a young, good receiver who's fast. Not big, fast. We've got our big threats. We've got Alec Pierce. We've got Michael Pittman. We've got Jelani Woods. We've got Mo Ali Cox. We've got Drew Ogletree. All those guys are like 6'4", 6 6'3", 6 and above. We have our big guys who are good 50-50 ball threats. We need our speedsters. We need our Marvin Harrisons, our Reggie Waynes. We need our guys who are just solid receivers through and through. That's what we need. And a young quarterback who's going to stay for more than a decade who can actually help lead a team. Once you secure those two things, everything else will follow as long as you, as long as you actually get players that fit your system and fit your group of people. People who can actually close out games. The other day, I think I saw something that if the if the Colts were actually able to close out games within a certain point margin or something like that, we'd have eight wins. It's not that hard to believe. There are there are a lot of close games that we lost just from us being stupid. I'm tired of this. It's it's the same thing. Go to school. Some some stupid bandwagon fan or or someone who isn't a Colts fan or whatever wants to. Wants to trash talk about the Colts. I'm tired of it because guess what? You don't have to sit through this stuff every year. If you are not a Colts fan, I do not want you trash talking to me about the Colts because you do not understand what it's like to sit through this crap every single year. I don't care that your team's good. I don't care that you have a good quarterback. I don't care that you have a defense. I don't care anything about your team. If you're going to come and talk trash to me about my team, you better, one, know your stuff. Know stuff about my team before you come and talk to me about it. Two, don't do it in the first place because I'm smarter than you. I know more than you, and you're gonna get you're gonna get embarrassed, quite frankly. So I don't want to hear crap from anybody who's not a Colts fan, unless you're a Browns fan, a Bengals fan, or some other franchise that's been tormented for tons of years. I don't want to hear anything from anybody. I don't want to hear anything from Patriots fans. I don't want to hear anything from 49ers fans. I don't want to hear anything from Green Bay Packers fans. I don't want to hear anything from 
I don't even want to hear anything from Bears fans because y'all deserve it at this point because your, your fan base is just toxic. Same thing with the Steelers and, and the Eagles. Y'all's fan bases are just a bunch of inbred people with compact computers still. Like, I don't want to hear it. It's so stupid. This team's a disappointment. Just disappointment. Same fucking bitches. Got the chopsticks with his stitches. On my dick, cause I like